This part of the tutorial we are going to um, import a tile set. <coughs> this time I've um, uh, decided on a different place because I couldn't find a good tile set at, um, well there, there are, but at game dev, dev but um, they've got plenty of good paying ones but no free ones so so I've had to go to this site here. Ick, ick.io, I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that. And um, I'll put the, again, I'll put this link in the, um, in the description. I've actually, um, this is what the, the tile set looks like. Now, I've resized these to 100 by 100. Now, probably more to help fill up space on my, um, when making this. Um, normally, tile sets come in like 32, 16, 32 or 64 PNGs. But I've just um, made these a bit bigger. I, they actually are in the free set. They come in at 512, so you'll have to resize them down yourself. But um, it still looks like a, a very good set to use. And um, so let's get to it. So again, we're in. Um, we'll be in the world one now. Um, with tile sets, you have um, the easiest way is to have snapping on, and now you can set your grid size um, in your world. Um, so over here, if you click on your world one you'll have your grid size there. I've got it set at 50. By default it's in build box it's 50 by 50. I actually should have it a, a 100 by 100 but it, it, oh, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you want to go half measures. So um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll switch the, the grid visibility on. We'll also um, we'll Turn, yeah, the snapping's already on, so make sure those ones are on. Right, our, um, our little uh, game frame, we don't need that on anymore because we've got that all set. So we'll, we'll start pulling in the, the tile sets. Now when you pull them in, you pull them in as an object. Okay, and you'll see it listed up there. So as you can see, you, it'll snap to the grid. Like so. If we, um, let's just check to see what this does. If we go 100 by 100. And you see that um, that automatically resizes the the grid. Okay, so we'll um, and with um, with these, they'll be stored under objects. You'll get um, an edit. Uh, you can edit the collision shape here. By default, it puts in. Uh, you don't really have to do anything unless it's like a, a knob, odd shaped one. So um, we'll keep um, we'll keep pulling these in as we um, as we need them. So object. I'll just pull these down here for the for the moment. object
object. These are all square ones, so there's nothing to, to worry about. Um, right, now this one, this one is an angular, angular base one, so we'll just go um, click on him there, we'll go to Edit Shape, and um, what you'll do is select the dot in the corner and just hit the minus button and that'll give you a perfect um, diagonal. So we'll close that. Again, edit now from the opposite side and we'll go minus. Now we've got side ones here. This might be a bit boring for people, so just bear with me. I'll just go as quick as I can to import these in. I'm not really sh whoops. I'm not really sure why they look like they're doubling up on these ones. Maybe there's there's some with bigger yeah, that's what it is. Some some have bigger ones than the others. And you can multi-select and drag to get everything in one place. <clears throat> and whatever you do, don't try and drag in um, multiple um, objects or else they'll animate whoops, on each other. So the square ones are going to be no troubles because um, we'll just move this out the road for now. Okay, that's the last of them. And I'll just move this guy back. Okay, I'm only using the, that as a reference at the moment. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll just set where the ground is. And normally the ground, we'll want uh, just a normal square one like this. So um, to copy, duplicate that one, we'll just um, hit the W key that duplicates it. <clears throat> and we'll put that one there 
we'll um, and we'll just keep duplicating that along till we get to a point where we want to where we want to make another um, inset. So you hit the D key, just keep keep hitting the D key. We'll just hit W again. So once you get get the uh, idea down, it's quite simple to do. I'll probably end up doing this one. Oops, wrong one, but we'll need one on the other side. Now, probably I'm not going to put you through the whole lot of this. Um, I don't, I'm sure you've got better things to look at than me just constantly um, updating this. Once I've um, got the level built out, I'll um, come back and um, we'll we'll um, go through there. We'll we'll test it and see how things go. Okay, here's um, here's just a, a little trick um, that you can use um, if you want to um, have these um, in reverse or upside down. All you have to do into the scale over here, we just set that to uh, a minus one and that'll give you uh, an upside down version of it I'd probably do it for all of the ones that you're um, going to do it on okay just keep doing it minus one So that's just a, a simple trick to to keep um, doing it. Um, just to save it. Also, these are instances, so it'll save your your time um, memory as well. Okay, here's um, just a, a basic um, setup of the uh, of the tile set. We'll just turn off. Um, the grid so we can see this and the, all these ones are all I've done is just scaled them at um, half size and what these will ac actually eventually be is moving platforms which you've got to jump on now we need something to um, For, for it to die um, like um, a lava pit or some sort of danger thing that we're going to do for this one. Now while these are objects you've got a you've got a choice 
in in what you make them one so we're going to use this like a, a green goo thing and once you've got that into the seam you can turn that into uh, several different different things and one of them is enemies so and here we've got collide um, type so it's got to be collide on and destroy player so and once you've set the attributes for that you just copy it basically two three we go down uh, So um, just hit D, go all the way across, that just quickly copies it, S to copy down, and then we'll go um, D again to copy that across, so that fills up that um, pretty well much that lava pit there. And we want, say, uh, another couple. We want another one that sits under this. So I'll just drag him over. And what I'll do is um, we'll just copy. Whoops. Sorry, we need to set him as an enemy, of course. And we'll just copy um, him across. Now, what I want to do is... Actually, we'll move all of these, plus this one. So there we've got our, our basic um, scene set up, so um, let's test him out. Um, before we do any more testing, we'll just I'll just show you, um, I'm sick of using the J key as, uh, as the jump key, which that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> you always use your arrow key or a space or an arrow up to jump, but... Um, this is how you change that. There's a little um, gearbox up here. You just click that, which brings up your your project settings. You got your controls, and um, right now the the jump key is uh, set to J. Uh, I don't really want that. I'm not going to have a. Oh well. We'll change that around. So we'll just click in there, hit your space bar, and I'll just swap that around to J. So that's all you need to do. Um, so now our movements will be, um, these will be the ordinary movements, left, right, mouse, I mean um, keyboards. So I'll save this. And notice how you've got a little um, box up here. That's that's uh, it's like a, a, a thing called like a jump. It's um, actually a logic piece. I wonder if I can see it here. Next, yeah. It's called a jump, um, menu jump. And it jumps you to certain UIs. 
So um, what you need to do with that guy is once he um, once he goes to the um, hits that collides with that, he'll go to the next um, next level. So we'll just drag this guy. down here and make it nice and big so you this will be invisible and you won't be able to see it but as soon as he collides with that he'll go to your next level so that's why it's got to be put down at the end okay we'll do a just a quick test again and you notice there's some keys here. That's that's actually for the um, the mobile stuff, which um, we'll take out for the moment now. So to, to to take that out, we'll go into the mind map, and it'll be I think in the world UI. So click on those guys. And just drag them down. We'll put, because we'll we probably put them in later. Okay, file save. Back into world one, and we'll do just a a quick run through. And this is using the, the space bar now. Yes, he dies when he hits the... Now we'll test whether he dies on the green... Yes, he dies on that. So that's all working. So that's basically um, the tiles, what you want to do with the tiles and set up the, the lava type of thing at the bottom. And uh, the next session, we'll probably get into um, making some enemies for him. To, uh, or, well, actually, we'll probably make some moving platforms, enemies, a few other add-ons that we're going to start putting in into this. So um, that's all for now. We'll see you next time.